good, peaceful fruit. It gives us promise for, di- for today. And it gives us promise for forever. So today's big question, what are you training for? In life, what are you training for? What's your goal? Why do you get up every morning? What's your purpose, really? To achieve all you can by worldly standards? To accumulate stuff? Popularity, Facebook likes? Have a good time? Maybe you really don't have a goal. Maybe you're just stringing together a bunch of days. Maybe you're just stringing together a bunch of random events. Whatever happens, happens. You're just trying to get through life. Maybe that's it for you. Maybe that's you. I'm here to tell you there's more. So much more. God loves you. And he has a plan and a purpose for your life. And he wants you to to know it. He wants you to train in it. He wants you to stick with it. Is your goal to become more Christ-like? Do you want to grow to know God more? We should. And you can. The choice is yours. You can choose to train in the way you should go. God's way. Follow Jesus. Or you can do nothing. Either way, you still have made a choice. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for this day. Father, we thank you for your word. Father, we thank you that you want us Christians, children of God, your children. You want us to be your representative here on earth. And Father, we thank you that you don't just want us to do that. You give us a way to accomplish it. We don't have to try. We don't have to try harder. We can train. You tell us in your word you want us to train. And you want us to help train other children, other children of God. And Father, we thank you so much for that. Father, we pray that you help us to grow, to to know you more. Father, we pray that you help us to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ with our corner of the world. And Father, we pray that you Help us to train others to do the same. We thank you for all this and so much more. In Jesus' name, amen.